Hey guys, I'm here today to talk about the top arm of your Aisha, the three different grips we use, uh, and some of the anatomy behind those and the injury prevention. So when I say Aisha, anything where one arm's up, one arm's down, and your feet are up off the pole doing anything. So any variation of this position is what I'm talking about. Uh, as you may know, three main grips are twisted, true, and cup grip. All right, on to anatomy. There are four main tissues in your body responsible for movement. That's muscles, bones, tendons, and ligaments. And there are five main ways that you can screw that shit up. They are overstretching, overloading, shear or friction impinging, twisting, and bending. Um, bends really only applies to bones. The other four, however, uh, twisted grip twisted grip does all four of these at the same time. Uh, that's why you hear that twisted grip is the least safe of the grips. And let's just talk about that, that shear, that friction part, because it's the easiest to really see and visualize. So there are a bunch of bony structures in the front of your shoulder, right? The closer together they are, the more compacted this space is, the more friction you're going to get. And that can lead to fraying, tearing, inflammation, a lot of pain because there's just too much friction. Okay, so when I have my arm out here, I want as much space as I can to maximize how safe a move is. So I have a finger here and a thumb here. As I go set up my twisted grip, watch the space between this thumb and finger. It really closes down. Okay, so twisted grip actively closes the space. Even if I'm then engaging my shoulder down, okay, even if I'm engaging my lats, it's still really tiny. The space is still really small. There's no way around that. Um, in order of safety, the grips go twisted, true is a little bit more open, and cup is the most open. So cup is the safest. It also has the added bonus of actually training the muscles that will counteract this in general. So it strengthens the muscles back here when you do it right, that pulls your shoulder open all the time and will actually make everything you do on pole safer. Uh, the point of this isn't to lecture you and to say don't ever do twisted grip. I understand there are a lot of really cool dynamic moves and transitions and direction changes and things that require a twisted grip. So when you're making a performance piece, like, like I said, there's cool shit you can do. Go for it. Um, but maybe when you're just training on your own, conditioning and working on your Aisha's, you might not want to do a million twisted grips or even true grips. Um, and definitely don't neglect the cup because that's something that's going to train these muscles open your shoulders in the long run, make everything safer. Um, so I hope that this video was informative. I tried to keep it short. Um, so I will make another video another time talking about specifically how to engage your top arm and keep your shoulders as open as possible. Let me know if you have any questions. Happy polling, and please don't neglect your cup grips. I love them, they have my heart. Thank you.